What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bobby Thrift back again with another video. Hopefully, you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. This is the part of the video talking about what you guys see me pick up and then a few things from the other day that I came across that I did not get a chance to get on camera. I'm just going to show you what I got for them, what I plan to get for them. Give me your predictions, what you guys think I can get for these items. And if you guys have ever picked them up and uh, sold them yourself, of course, give me all that feedback in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's jump into the items, you see? Ross came through for us once again. Uh, found a couple things at the last Ross visit, as you guys saw, I believe, in this video here. Found these for 55 bucks, which is not a bad price point. I've seen very recent comps for uh, upwards of about 100 was like the lowest it went for. Uh, I think I get like 130, 140, depending on where I sell it at. It all depends. I haven't posted them up for resale yet, but this is a unique colorway. It was in the women's section. I think these are women's Air Max 2, uh, 270s. Uh, size 12. This colorway is pretty nice. I mean, I believe it came with a bubble pack, but I don't see any of the extra bubble detail on it. But this colorway is pretty dope. That's what caught my eye. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys have scooped this at your local uh, Ross or Burlington or Marshalls and what were your comps for them. But I will be posting these on eBay, Go and uh, Macari. And we'll see how that goes. But I think I can get at least $100, but I'm looking to get like at least I'm trying to get like 130 to 150 if possible. Um, if I have to sell it for $100, I have no problem doing that as well, being that I got it for 55. But of course, I want to go a little bit higher and I'm willing to wait. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. That's kind of the first thing, or actually second thing in this video that we saw, but this is one of the things, first things I pulled out. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and get to the next item, which were these curry. Uh, this one, I got these for $47, $46.99. These are the curry and they're just, titled the red black and gold or red black and gum actually because they got the gum outsole um very dope shoe actually the colorway is, is fire uh the materials on the upper is very nice they have comps for about 120 and above maybe 150 uh maybe even a little bit more than that depending on uh where you're trying to sell them at but of course i'm putting them on all platforms i have not posted them yet but let me know what you guys think uh, about these curries right here. And if you guys saw my last video, you guys saw that I came across these curries. This one was from downtown uh, location at the Ross there. Found both these curries, man, at, at my recent trip. So I hopefully we find some more. And actually in this video here, um, or the video where I dropped these at, uh, there were some other curries that were pretty exclusive that I just passed up because I didn't know about it. I'm not really familiar with curries, but I will be going back uh, maybe tomorrow and we're going to go ahead and check it out and see if anybody else passed up on them and uh, be looking forward to that, to, you know, to that content as well coming to the channel. But let me know what you guys think about any one of these finds. I'll leave that curry up there just because we found that too. <laughs> and that was actually just uh, last weekend. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think. We saw these on the thumbnail. Those are the Curry uh, Four Low uh, Space Jam or no, no, NBA Jam, the game, PE. So it's, it's fire to find some PEs at a Ross or Burlington, something like that. So that's pretty dope. Uh, we're gonna scoot on down here to some Adidas stuff, but I found this jersey, right? This was a soccer jersey, FC Dallas. Uh, if you guys have any familiarity with this or know more about this than I do, of course, let me know. I think the colorway is pretty dope. You got like a little stitched in uh, Adidas jer jersey, patches right there, pretty nice. And you know, these were only $9.99 at Ross, but the tag is what made me go ahead and scoop it up. Uh, the retail tag on this is uh, MSRP of 60 bucks. So, you know, $10 for 60. I mean, I think that's definitely worth it. We're getting into the spring and summertime area. So people will be wearing these type of things. And this colorway is pretty dope. If you guys know about this team, how good are they? Let me know, of course, in the comment section below. I'm not familiar. I just seen a jersey and it, and it looked dope. So I want to go ahead and scoop it up. You know what I mean? So you give me your overall thoughts and opinions on that and let me know if that's a good buy or not. But not, I felt, for ten dollars, I mean, yeah, I don't think how you can go too wrong with that, right? Uh, then we got another one, another, one. another uh, jersey, and it's funny because when I scooped this, somebody saw me like, "Hey man, where'd you get that from?" I pointed it out because there was a couple more left, but I picked up one because I'm not super familiar with these, but I do know when I looked them up, they did have pretty good comps. Uh, but I don't want to just flood it. You know, I feel like I should have 
should have followed my first instinct and scooped all the ones I saw. But I, I'm also one person that wants to be cautious and kind of play the play it by ear. I go to a lot of different locations, so I can go ahead and try it out. If it sells before I get to see it again, then I go ahead and scoop up more next time I see it. That's kind of how I play it. Um, patch here on the left side. I do this patch, which kind of stitched in on the right side. You got the logo here, MLS. I guess Major League Soccer, and I believe this one retail for 60 also. The MSRP number wasn't here, but it's the same brand and everything, so I figured that's the same, if not more, because uh, this one was $9.99, and this is $12.99, so I assume this is better. Please let me know if this team is better than that. Should I have scooped all of them? Of course, give me that feedback down below. But this jersey here is dope, too. I mean, this is, I wouldn't even mind wearing both of these. Like, I could freaking whistle them shoes i got or something like that but everything i'm getting is for sale big. uh so let me know what you guys think about anything you have seen so far if you're enjoying what we're talking about go ahead and hit that like button as i slide on to the next item now this item right here some people might laugh i'm not i'm happy with it this is pretty fire for 14 dollars. we have this uh nba nike clippers i guess it's like a warm-up shirt uh you guys can see the uh you know the bottom part with the name and everything or where the name would be and the sizing this has like a patch that's on here with the nike swoosh i mean it's dry fit nba logo on the back with kind of that jersey material i feel like this is some uh something they might have used i mean 14.99 was the retail tag at Ross, right but the tag is a hundred bucks i mean maybe we'll film it for that but the tag was $100, so it has to be some type of official tissue, you feel me? So um, $15 for $100 or more, I think that's definitely worth it. Um, very happy to come across that too, man. Ross has definitely been kicking it. This is all Ross fries right here. Everything here on the table for the most part is Ross fries. Um, let's get it down. Now, I went over to, Mar to uh, Marshall because, you know, I'm also able to do Amazon FBA and uh, this is a brand that you can uh, flip on there without even having to submit um, invoices or anything. You might be gated at first, but you can kind of get auto and gated through this one. Uh, Aeropostale. Now, this is a brand, the rankings was around 200,000 and close, which is not bad at all. I don't think, I think they'll sell within a month or so uh, doing FBA, you know what I mean? Uh, these right here, they had them for $10, $9.99. However, uh, the retail on this is 45. So there's money to be made with this too. Um, the regular was pretty well. You know, like I said, in the 200,000s with some good comments and replies, it's like five stars. So, you know, these will sell eventually. So I had to go ahead and try it out to see how these go for me. I bought a few of those. I bought, uh, these were of the tank tops and I bought one pack of boxers just to, uh, just to test the waters. And the good thing about this, the boxes were actually on clearance. Uh, the boxes were on clearance for $11 and they retail also for 45. That's what the MSRP tag is here. So I think these two were some good, uh, at least trial and error to try them out to see. I think you can't really lose the, the, you know, the rankings were well, they had comments, they had feedback. So I think these might go pretty good too. So it remains to be seen what happens with that. Let me know your feedback, of course, for everything here. I'm somebody who loves Kyrie, and recently uh, one of the locations, one, a couple actually locations, Champ Sports have had some Kyrie sixes uh, on sale for 69 bucks. And this colorway is actually pretty fire. This is the uh, uh, Kyrie six USA. And they had two USA colorways, but I think this one is the better one by far. You got a lot more things going on, the sway, the color going on. These are fire. The collar is really, really dope. Also, it's different. This Kyrie 6 is one of the better ones that did release. Let me know if you guys are familiar with the Kyrie 6 or if you guys are a fan of this shoe too. But uh, yeah, we scooped a couple pair of these um, size eight and a half. Um, we're gonna try to sell them on GOAT uh, as well as Macari and um, GOAT Macari and e eBay. But I think I think I can probably do well with those on GOAT because they're full box and everything. So that remains to be seen. Um, Try to get ungated in, in Nike on Amazon and still haven't gotten it. So it remains to be seen. We're gonna keep working on that. But in the meantime, there are other marketplaces like GOAT, StockX, if you got the full box, even that. Um, 
you know, fifty six dollars. They retail for one thirty, I believe. So there's definitely some wiggle room there to make some money, no matter what platform you decide to use. Um, and then another shoe, kind of the last item, last but certainly not least, uh, we found some. Which number is these? Some Pegasus, uh, Arizona Pegasus thirty six. Found these for I think thirty nine bucks. Bucks. Thirty nine dollars. Uh, dead stock pair, great condition. This is size eight. They retail for one twenty. Uh, definitely some wiggle room here. Uh, seen some comps for these on eBay lately as well. Believe it or not, on um, uh, 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 Stock X. So definitely, if you have an opportunity, man, try to flip some of these on Stock X or Goat. You might be surprised on what you guys can come across, man. Pegasus were pretty cool. That was a pretty cool find. Black colorway. It's kind of one of the more popular colorways, you know. Um, so yeah, that that shoe is pretty nice. But of everything you have seen here in the video, uh, let me know what you guys feel is the best find. If there's anything that you have flipped yourself, of course, be me in that comment section. Let me know all that information. Please hit the like button if you haven't done so already. And if you are new and not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, bro. We're trying to gain this, uh, grow this channel as fast as possible. Uh, build a community and join the community because there's a lot of people out there doing the same thing I'm doing. And you can do it too. Just go ahead and put out the effort and uh, you can make things happen, bro. I'm not an expert. I'm not far along in it. I'm still trying to learn and get it together myself so if you have pointers let me know or if that's something i'll let you know something i can offer you just go ahead and let me know in the comment section as well so i've been talking to you guys forever i'm gonna let you go it's your boy bobby thrift give me all the feedback i'll see you guys in the next video deuces